Welcome back. I'm just going to do a quick video explaining what these are, lever locks. Now I quite often see these confused with warded locks. Now a warded lock is one that takes a key similar to a lever lock with a bit on the end that's got a shape cut into it. And a warded lock just allows that shape to pass through an aperture which then moves the bolt to lock and unlock the lock. The problem with that is you can just put something smaller than the key into the lock and unlock it. So warded locks have got problems. These are not warded locks however, they're lever locks. So this is the lock that's actually fitted into your door. You cut a slot into your door, you put the lock in, and all that's exposed really is the keyhole. Now, I put the key in, I rotate it one way to lock it. The bolt here moves out into the door frame to stop the door from opening. To unlock it, we rotate it back the other way. It's very, very simple from an external perspective. What does it look like inside though? Well, this is a lock that I've replaced the cover with Perspex so you can see inside it. So we have that bolt, big bit of metal there. At the moment the lock is locked and you can see as I move it, there's a small protrusion of metal here. That's called the stump. And that stump is hitting the levers. They're those silver bits of metal. So it's hitting those levers and it's stopping the bolt from going in. What we have to do is lift those levers to the correct height so that the stump will pass through what's called a gate in those levers and the lock will unlock. So I'm just gonna show you how that works. I'll put the key in, I'll rotate. And you can see as I start turning the key, those levers lift up. And as they lift up, a gate, a gap in them, aligns with the stump and the lock can unlock. So to lock it, it's a similar process. We turn it back the other way, like so, and the lock's locked. So it's all about lifting those levers up to the correct height so that you can't, you can move that stump through the gap um, to unlock the lock. Now, there's a lot of different features in these that make them quite difficult to attack. Now, the first thing that you might notice is on this lever right at the front here, there's a little notch in it. So if I just lift it up there, you'll see there's a notch. Now, if I push quite hard, you'll see that the stump has caught that first notch. Now, I can't get that to go in, so I'm, I'm using a trick here to make them align. Now, you can see that essentially the stump has been caught in that notch in the gate. That's a special anti-pick notch, a false gate, that makes it more difficult for me to pick this lock. Obviously, you can't put a screwdriver inside and lift it like that. I'll just pull it out again, and you'll see how it drops down. To actually get the lock to pick, what I have to do is I have to make sure they get lifted up to the correct height. So if you lift that higher, you'd be able to pick it. It does make it quite a bit harder. The other thing we've got down the bottom here, surrounding the keyhole, is called a curtain. So you can see that this bit of metal here stops me from pushing anything up through the keyhole to reach those gates. To do it, we have to put the key in and then rotate it. So now you can see that the key can access the gates, but a screwdriver can't. So that's called the curtain, this bit here. So we've got these anti-pick notches up here. We've got the curtain here making it harder to access it. Now this is a relatively high security lock. This not a particularly high security lock. This one, however, is a much higher security lock. So what I'm going to do, I'll just show you how it works. Again, it's exactly the same. We put the key in, we rotate it, it locks and unlocks. Now one thing you'll notice if I put these side by side with each other, if I lock both of them, and of course that one's got stuck, there we go, you'll notice that the extension of the bolt on this one is much greater than this one. So the bolt is physically longer, it goes into the door further. That makes it a more secure lock. Now another thing you'll notice on this is the bolt here has got, it's made up predominantly of brass there, but you've also got these four silver bits. Now they're actually free floating bits of circular steel. They're essentially rollers. And what they're designed to do is if you come into the side of this lock with a hacksaw, an angle grinder, and try cutting this, those rollers will free spin inside the bolt and it makes it much much harder to cut that bolt to unlock the door. Another thing is, I'll just take the cover off this one, to attack these you could drill out the stump, you can drill the gate and then push the bolt back in. To combat this you'll notice that this one has got a thick section here, a thicker section. This is a special section of anti-drill steel, so it's hardened steel the high-speed steel drill bits will just not go through. You need hardened drill bits to get through this. It's quite, it does, it's quite tough. It does slow you down significantly. Again, looking on the inside of this one, we have our levers. Our levers on this one, to zoom right in, 
you can see again, they've got those notches, those anti-pick notches on them. Again, this one, the stump actually has a notch on it to make it more likely that you get a full set on there. So it's quite hard to do. You'll see that that catches on that, on, that, um, on that little notch there. So when you're picking it, it does come harder. Again, it's got that curtain on it. So this lock is actually quite hard to attack. You've only got a small keyhole to go through. That makes it hard to identify the lock from outside. All you can see is the keyhole. Is this a high security lock like this? Or is it a really low quality lock? How many levers has it got? Does it have these, these rollers in it to stop you cutting through the bolt? How far does the bolt extend? So hopefully you've seen that these lever locks are actually quite high security. I, I think they're a very good addition to most doors and um, to make them harder to attack. They are less convenient than a night latch. Obviously you need to take that positive action to lock and unlock the door with keys. Now one thing that's really important with these is do not leave your key on the inside of the door. What you can actually do is summon outside. So if you've left your key with this locked, someone from outside can actually put a special tool into the keyhole and from the outside of your house, turn that key around to unlock the lock. So never leave the key on the inside of these because someone could unlock the door. So I hope you've learned something from that. I hope you've seen why these are different to warded locks and I will see you in a few days with another video. Thanks.